Michelle Obama used to sell Barney toys. Nope, I did not know that at all. Welcome back to AXO Schools. Today we're doing a special edition episode on the holiday Cinco de Mayo. Hello, senor. Cinco de Mayo stands for the 5th of May in Spanish. <laughs> It's also the anniversary of an awesome victory the Mexican army had over France at the Battle of Puebla during the French-Mexican War. This victory happened on May 6th, May 5th, not May 6th, <laughs> 1862. Funny enough, it's a relatively minor holiday in Mexico, but in the United States, Cinco de Mayo has evolved into a celebration of Mexican culture and heritage particularly in areas with large Mexican-American populations. It's important to know that Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican Independence Day. It just commemorates one single battle. Yep. In 1861, Benito Juarez was elected president of Mexico. At the time, the country was in financial ruin after years of internal strife. Juarez was forced to default on debt payments to European governments. This made France, France, not France, <laughs> France and Britain and Spain mad. They sent their Navy forces to Mexico and demanded repayment. Burrito. Britain and Spain negotiated with Mexico and their navies went home, but not France. France was ruled by Napoleon III at the time. He decided this would be a good time to create an empire out of the Mexican territory. Late in 1861, a well-armed French fleet stormed Veracruz, landing a large force of troops. This drove President Juarez and his government into retreat. It was assumed that French success would happen quickly because they had 6,000 French troops setting out to attack Puebla de Los Angeles. Juarez, on the other hand, was only able to round up 2,000 loyal men, many of which had no idea how to even fight. The outnumbered and poorly, poorly supplied Mexican army prepared as best as they could on May 5th, 1862. The French led an assault on the city of Puebla the battle lasted from daybreak to early evening, and when the French finally retreated, they had lost nearly 500 soldiers. Bonito. That's more than I can count on my hand. <laughs> the Mexican army had lost fewer than 100 during the battle. Even though it wasn't a major strategic win in overall war against the French, the Battle of Puebla on May 5th represented a great symbolic victory for the Mexican government. In 1867, with some military support and political pressure from the United States, who was finally in a position to aid its neighbor after the American Civil War, France finally withdrew for good from Mexico. The biggest question I have is why do we celebrate Cinco de Mayo in the U.S. if people in Mexico pretty much treat it like any other day? It's a really good question. Also, there's another question. Do you think after this whole virus, we're going to have a toilet paper day? We might, actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a valid question. But in the United States, we use it as a way to celebrate Mexican culture and heritage. It's important for us to learn about other cultures, and this is a fun way to do it. Some of the celebrations include parades, parties, Marachi music, Marachi. Mexican folk dancing, and traditional foods. Tacos! Burritos! We love tacos and burritos. Yes, yes we do. Many people outside of Mexico, though, mistakenly believe that Cinco de Mayo is a celebration of Mexican independence. And like I told you before, Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican Independence Day. Mexican Independence Day is actually celebrated on September the 16th. On September 16th, 1810, there was a cry of independence from the revolutionary priest Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla. He's famous for Grito de Dolores, the cry of Dolores, which was a call to arms that amounted to a declaration of war against the Spanish colonial government. 
This was declared more than 50 years before the Battle of Puebla. Whew. What are we going to do to celebrate? Well, we just celebrated a little bit by learning about the day and some about Mexican culture. But I think we should all eat some tacos or burritos today. Since we love tacos, not burritos, and learning about different cultures, I will leave you with this thought. Imagine you were in a world where Cinco de Mayo falls on Taco Tuesday, only to be ruined by a virus named after a Mexican beverage. Crazy. And that's not just a thought. That was reality in Danielle's Taco Tuesday text group. So true. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? Mondana, your mustache wasn't real? <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.